Hey, welcome back guys. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and build of the Pabo Pico series. It's a Woof Cine Whoop drone. Uh, this is it right here. This is the box and this is what we're going to be building and configuring um, in the second video. So the first video will be unboxing and building it step by step um, through the process one at a time going through the parts and components because um, it's not as straightforward as you think. It's challenging for some, but not for everyone. If you've ever built anything, um, you won't have any trouble. But if uh, you do, just remember to pause the video, rewind, back step, forward, you know, as many times as you need so that you can um, have the finished product like this, right? Um, so the second part of the video is going to be, uh, we're going to configure it. There'll be a version of this that's bricked that we'll be troubleshooting, uh, to get unbricked, which is great because, um, when I reached out to beta FPV emails, just went silent when the, uh, the, the, uh, unit, not the DJI unit, but the unit with the chip and everything just went bricked out on me and the software wasn't working, etc. but there's a hack to that, a solution, so I'll, I will do that. But all in all, don't update, so that's one solution. But you know, if you wanna have the latest firmware on there or the software, or if, you, or if it's not working and you just need a solution, that'll be on the third video. So first video, the build, second video, the configuration, so that we can get it to work with this and that. And um, that's pretty much it. The Pavo series, um, Pavo Pico, Pico Paco, as you might hear me saying in the video, but it's actually Pavo series, a Pavo Pico drone. But um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's see what's actually inside of this. Uh, most likely there's a battery in there, which is great. Um, I already have, oh wow, interesting. It's a little dinged. Um, hopefully it's not a return. The uh, Beta FPV. And what else is there? That's it. You can get rid of that. Um, and then you have the uh, Beta FPV packaging Pablo series. Okay, that's what this is. Um, we'll have a look inside and see. If it's already torn, I don't think we'll need anything. If you do, you could always use something sharp. Um, we're probably going to use this to reset it. We're probably going to do another video uh, with the whole setup. To guide you guys through it so it happens all in real time uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward um, but in the meantime let's uh see what we got here really solid packaging so you don't have to worry about it getting ruined in the mail um, so we can put the box aside we'll put the reset thingy on the side and um, there's your battery ah bummer Sure, I'll have, to, I'll have to buy a, uh, maybe there's an adapter for the uh, charger that I can use on my existing charger, right? Because I already have a LiPo charger for my RC car, so maybe there's an adapter that you can use. Here go the um, little bumper thingies. Oh, nice. Here is a UV filter, so you don't have to buy one. Um, which is great. Extra propellers, which is awesome. And most of all, best of all, the mini. Wow, this is really nice. So there, there isn't really much assembly, which is great. Um, you just need to find, oh wow, well, I guess there's like a little um, antenna thing there that probably connects to the original antenna. Um, I wonder if there are any directions. Mm. There you go with the shell. This is great. So like you have mini, it's like the Avada. It's this um, really soft plastic. It's not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's durable. This is probably fiberglass, it seems like. Um, so this would crash nicely in the grass, but you have to make sure it's not wet because as you can see, if you do fly in the rain, all the circuitry is exposed. Um, we'll just put that there. Put this here. Actually, we'll put that back in the box. Follow us. Let's see what this is. Just put the uh, mini drone there. We don't need that. So, knowledge base, follow us. And that's it. Just a little card. Um, let's see. What else is there? 
Um, and we have this box here. So we have the drone, a battery, um, extra propellers. Oh, like there's a little connector thingy. So I guess so you can connect it to your computer because most likely um, there's there isn't a port. I don't see the ah the connectors right here that you would connect from here and then connect that thingy that adapter and then plug it into your USB C and then from your USB C it would go into your computer um, and gosh I don't even know how you can get that in there I'm, I'm that's probably why you need tweezers because it's so 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 um, small and tight it's a tight spot um, too bad they didn't build it in, but then that means they would have to actually build this bigger. So I'll just let you guys look. There's that. So you can see. Battery plug. Little plug there. Um, that probably goes to the battery because it's a smart battery. So that plugs into there. Um, but we're not going to plug it in yet and start it up until we actually um, get all the parts. Um, this is just the unboxing of this. And what else is there? There's the antenna. And let's see what's in this box. Hopefully it's a charger, right? Oh, no, no charger. Um, just two extra batteries. Um, which means I will get probably nine minutes of flight time, which isn't so bad. Um, nine minutes of flight time in manual mode, which could be a disaster. Um, so that's pretty much it with this and um let's uh let's assemble this so for this part you're going to need a set of tweezers i actually have a pair which is great they've never been used and actually until now um you want to make sure your surface is either white or whatever color that works best for you so that if the parts um fall off or you know doesn't work out you can easily find them otherwise um, you know, they can fall into the carpet, deep within the rug, or get lost in the concrete if you do this in the street. Anyway, so these are the little washer thingies that will go in with the help of the tweezers. Okay, so we'll just do that. It's amazing, this thing doesn't come with any instructions, but it's pretty self... See how I did that? I almost lost all the pieces. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so let's see if we put all the pieces there. So we've got a couple of screws, actually, so you guys can see. So we have a couple of screws. We have one, two, four screws, which would be for the four points of the, um, the, uh, this thing right here, the housing. And then we have these little bumper thingies that we're going to put in. You have two little screws, which are probably for the, um, gimbal and then we have two longer screws here right see two identical these could be extra I'm not sure but we'll find out soon enough okay so um, most likely this part goes in and it stands high right so this will be the bottom now the tricky part is actually putting it in Hopefully you squeeze the tweezers, right? And you can just push it. Oh, nice. It's a nice... Um, you probably want to make sure that the tweezers aren't too sharp so that they don't puncture the um, rubber. So maybe this piece might work better. Because if the tweezer is too sharp, you'll just damage the um, the rubber. You just need to sort of squeeze it in so it goes into the hole. Yeah, and you can feel it protrude from underneath. And the hardest part is getting it in. Um, and most likely that's where the screws, right? will go never knew that you could screw screws into plastic it's kind of interesting not really plastic rubber right so 
So we got almost got one in. It's a little tricky because you don't want to puncture the um, the rubber, you know. But you want to put it, do it so that it goes through and looks like that. See that? So the higher part is at the top. See that? And now you have to do this um, three more times. Oh, look, actually they give you extra. So you have two extra. If you have a set of tweezers, make sure it's not sharp like this. This is the only one I have because if you stick it in, it's going to protrude right through and then you're going to be using the extra ones. I wonder if they sell these on the website. Extra little, I would call them gaskets, right? This is really cool. A mini, a mini me drone. Um, I'm not sure how fast it can fly. There's no, I don't think there's any um, GPS built in here. This like, this reminds me of a little um, Kano system. I don't know if you ever used Kano. It's a, a version of Raspberry Pi for kids that teaches them how to code. Um, it's actually kind of neat. Um, whoops. See, that's why we use a surface that everything can easily be found. Let me try this. Something a little bit different. Oh, nice. Look at that. Can somewhat squeeze it in, maybe? No, that's not going to work. Because that actually stretches it out. So the hardest part is, whoops, I dropped one again. Use this one. It's not as sharp. Right. No, I wonder why. I was doing it backwards. So it's only going to go in. It could go in the other way, but then it would just be backwards. And then you're pretty much. Yeah. I wonder why they just didn't build it this way in the factory. You can just somehow squeeze that in, right? By using a sharp end. See, it just punctured the uh, rubber. Maybe. Ah, forget the um, tweezers. I think you have better luck by um, just jamming it in and using the edge of something. Okay, so that worked. We got two in there. I'll probably order. Yep, so that's two. Oh, looks like one fell in there. See, look at that. <clears throat> And you want to make sure that they're even. Um, so you could use the tweezer part for that to make sure they're evenly protruding out. Um, so that not, no part, see? So it just expands. You want to make sure it just pops out. All right, so we got two more. This one and that one. And make sure they're even, right? Because that's going to be absorbed by this thingy here. Your screws will go in. Because it didn't protrude we'll put a hole in it now remember look underneath make sure that it sort of like creates a flush experience underneath so nice so there are two more i might get some more of these because it does come with two of these look you have one here right and then you have another one here um i guess for if you crash uh, it's definitely cheaper cheaper to fix this and i, I saw that they were selling these chips um, so I presume that if this breaks so, or you crash it, you could probably replace that too easily. Um, but hopefully not. Hopefully all the configurations will be done and, um, I'm going to practice flying this indoors first before going out. And, um, so the same thing with that, make sure whatever you're using to push this through is not sharp washer thingies, but remember it's actually being screwed in here. See that? So you need a magnetic screwdriver. And then it just comes through 
the uh, so it's actually going to look like this from underneath see that but it's going to come through the little gasket so which means you need a magnetic screwdriver well, like this one or whatever you have whatever works best for you hopefully this one will work as for the size I believe they said it was 1.5 which is this one right here and actually everything is labeled for you as long as you remember to put everything back um, so we'll leave that open um, except open this up a little bit that to put the cord in actually we could probably do that but let's just get these screws we have one two three four five six screws too many ones two spares these spare gaskets or whatever you want to call them we'll go back into the packaging okay the battery uh, I had to figure out which cord to get to this because I have the 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 smart charger for my RC cars um, and actually had to zoom in on this it was a XT30 and conversion to the C, uh, whatever the conversion is, I'll, I'll share with you guys in the end so that you know. Because if you already have a charger, smart charger for other RC vehicles, then you don't need to buy another one. Um, but either way, it should be a smart charger because this way the batteries know when they're full. It just stops, it knows, and you don't have to worry about a fire. You know, it, uh, uh, preventative is actually cheaper than damage control. So, you know, even if you have to wait, to get the battery, get the right charger so you're, you don't burn down your house. All right, so this goes here, like this, I believe. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just want to make sure everything is in, right? See that went in? And to know, because you can see that it's not going to go all the way in. Um, but we'll just um, do it like that. Let's see. Yep. I thought it would click. Oh yeah, it does. So it does go all the way in. It's just a little tricky thinking that it would be flush. And once you have this set, I would just leave it the way it is. Um, and the, the hardest part will probably be putting it in. Like literally. Okay, so you have other holes here. I guess if you plan to re replace the unit, right? You would um, unscrew this. But you're going to have one empty socket, right? So one empty socket, which is right there. This is like a, a complete clone duplicate of the Avada. If you remember when you're trying to basically access the USB port, it's just simply impossible. I don't know why they couldn't put it like there. Or uh, you literally need a set of tweezers. So as for which way to put it in, you just want to get the other cables out of the way ay 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 this is a nightmare and you got to make sure that the top is top you know like there's only one way it goes in so most likely um that's the tricky part knowing which way is the top which way is the bottom i have to look at this really closely i believe it goes probably like that right because you want it to be top side hopefully but you never know up could be down, left could be right, especially with FPV when things are, aren't are always what they seem when you fly. Oh, nice. Looks like it went in a little bit without any help of the tweezers. Actually, let's use this because we don't want to puncture the, um, puncture the cables. Ah, oh, nice. I believe, whoops, looks like that worked a little bit. That's where it ends, and you can see the exposure of the top part. That's where that ends, and that's this. Uh, most likely you would, um, this is the, this goes in like this. Let's see. You want to make sure your, your cables aren't, um, Tangled charger. Um, I, I thought it was like the sensor thing. Some some of the lipo batteries have this thing where you plug in and there's a meter that that automatically beeps when the battery um, die is dead. 
it just goes beep 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 and I'm, oh wow yeah, there you go check that out so that's there um this might oh this probably goes into the um the uh o3 dji o3 air unit makes sense but let's just see if this actually works so, so what we want to do is connect this to the um computer right and just to make sure that um, you know, we did everything correctly because the last thing we want to do is, um, you know, have all this put together and find out we have to pull this cable out again because we were supposed to use that one. But hopefully not. This one probably goes into the um, the uh, O3, GGI O3 air unit. All right. Great. So now that we have this all set up, now we're going to connect the um, DJI O3 air unit. Um, you have to make sure that when you do screw this in, that you screw the front is the front and the back is the back. Um, so this is it. This is the DJI O3 air unit. So I will take you through the process step by step so that you too will know what to do. And it's not as streamlined as, a thing, as you think it is. It is as long as you don't update this thing. Uh, once you update that or try to configure it, it will crash. Um, and you can brick it and I'll I'll create another video for you or maybe just include it in the description below on how to unbrick it unbrick this because the Betafly app um, it's tricky it, it'll it, it doesn't see it sometimes sometimes it does and if you reach out to support at Betaflight they'll send you the file and just tell you to flash the firmware and after flashing it, you don't see it. There's a hack to that. But let's just focus on this. So here we are. Here's the... So don't update this. Just it, It'll work fresh out of the box. But if you do, I'll create another video for that. All right, so here it is. This is the antenna, which is great. Apparently, you can use this antenna. I have seen it. It's a tad heavy, if you ask me. Really heavy. I mean, it's probably heavy because it probably gives you that flight range that you're looking for. I'm not sure. But anyway, on that note, we're just gonna use the kit because this is quite the load when you feel the antenna. Um, so you could always put it back on, uh, but I'm not, you know, given how light this is, it's like comparable to weight, um, but not size. You know, like which weighs more, a pound of feathers or a pound of bricks. But apparently, yeah, that's a really heavy antenna. Okay, so on that note, this is the antenna that goes to your Beta FPV. Okay. So we're just going to do the antenna. You can put all garbage aside. All right, so here we are. So now what you have to do is you have to take off this plate right here. Hopefully, ah, oh, nice. The same size screwdriver works. And this is a magnetic screwdriver, which is great because it's going to come in handy as you put that, the Paco Pivo, Pivo Paco back together. It's an interesting name that the uh, Mini Avada has. Okay, so there's that. Oops, it's magnetic, it's stuck together, but that's okay. We'll just put them, you, you don't want to mix up the screws too. So let's just, we'll put that there. Okay, there's the uh, cover. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull, if you have trouble pulling it, you could use this thing that the screwdriver's head comes with. And just pry it out. See that? It's one. And this one should pop out too. Voila. This, wow, I, I just can't get over how heavy this is. This must be a good antenna, or they just went crazy on the plastic, one or the other. Um, but on that note, let's take the screws from the um, O3 air unit and put them in the baggie, because you never know. You might, you know, upgrade and you're just getting into this, and next thing you know, you're, you're using spare parts, right? All right, so there's that. So now we're just gonna just pop it in. See that there's a little hole, it's really small. Um, it's hard to, yeah, small and hard to see. Um, 
should just pop right in. Oh, there, it pops. Um, it's a little tricky because on that one, the hole was round. This one, the hole's pretty round. So, But thankfully, this came from DJI. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure they would uh, they'd return it. Let's see what we have here. Whoops. Just making sure that it stays round. Because the last thing you want to do is put it on wrong, and that's not any good. Voila. See that? Did it. And then you just cross them over like that. So, not only are they for the antenna, but seal the deal. Oh, and thankfully, this is magnetic, so even though the hole is small, as long as you line that up correctly, you are golden. It's one. And it doesn't have to be too tight. I could see, if you look really closely, there is a little thread locker on there. There, I'll show you. So you can see the blue. If you look really closely and zoom in. And there you have it. Let's this have. Make sure to install the DJI O3 air unit in a position that is well ventilated to avoid damage due to overheating. Another product that overheats. Okay. Great. So now that we've got everything together, we have this that's almost put together. Um, what we probably want to do is before you mount that on, because once it's there, you won't be able to take it off, is um, update the firmware and configure it with that just to make sure it works with the controller, the RC controller 2. So now, all right, so you're probably wondering, where does this go? Don't be fooled because that will actually go in here. It took me a while to figure it out. And it's kind of deceiving because... This thing is really big, it's wide, but it actually should be big enough for that. This, hopefully, to fit in there, I believe. Yeah, so it's a, it, it's a tad tricky because of the way the wires turn, but it looks like this is the bottom and the other part is the top. You just have to match the prongs. Once you get it in, it goes in. Yeah, so don't be fooled um, like I was. It, it fits, I believe. Yeah, that's the bottom. So we'll leave the bottom as the bottom. Okay, and then, as you see there, so we probably want to squeeze that in. So now, see the antenna? There are two little holes right there. This better work. This better be good, right? And all this... It is, it's kind of, this drone kind of reminds me of the Tello drone, you know, I mean, because it's the small technology, uh, it, it would just be nice if they upgrade, imagine they upgraded the Tello drone, and um, yeah, that would be phenomenal. I mean, if you could, if they could make this, um, there's no reason why they can't upgrade the Tello and put the, this camera on there, you know, be careful. Not to break anything. So as you can see, voila. And this house is on really well. You have to be careful because um, Mr. Novus FPV guy, which I'm not, I'm not going to be able to solder anything back together. Um, you know, those guys could build this from the wiring and everything. Okay, so there's that. So... Uh, and let's see, well, this, this goes on underneath, but it's really long. Um, but the good thing is that ah, you want to make sure that they, this kind of hugs it and clips in. See that? 
Look at that. Really nice. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to screw it on. I'm pretty sure it'll work, especially after the firmware update. Uh, had a little bit of a mishap with the firmware. Okay. Put this together. But the good thing is this is a no-brainer. It's the long ones. Tricky part is making sure that they go through and into the hole. All right. See that? Magnetic screwdriver. So now... The trick is matching the hole. And you don't want to do it too tight, you know, uh, in case you want to use it again. Let's see. Nice. And that just lines up. I guess you don't need a manual for this. The hardest part is just lining up the screws so that they go on. Ah. Got it. So that's one. And remember, not too tight. Okay. Again, this is a really small drone, delicate. I mean, my whole purpose of getting this was, or is so that my Avada doesn't crash, but I'm not sure um, how this will actually handle a crash. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Nope. That one didn't work. And there's a wire that's in the way. So if you look really close, you gotta make sure you remove the wire. Don't ruin the wire. Yep, this one's going in. And of course, the last two screws are for the uh, gimbal. And thankfully, this comes with a gimbal protector. Um, see, and this little magnetic screw driver. And you have you'll be left with two extra screws. Um, again, make sure it's magnetic. The Paco Pivo Pivo Paco. All right, so there's that. So now we have. Oh, this is really tricky though. Look at that; it's really long. But we'll just do that like that, and maybe use the probably the lower screws. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Just winging it. So this one definitely doesn't work. It's too big. And so we're going to need another one. Yeah, let's try like this. So that was 1.5. Um, I wish it actually came with an Allen key. You think that DJI, for what they charge for their products, couldn't um, pull an Ikea, right? Oh, so it's the ones that look like the stars. Uh, and throw in a little hex key, right? Nope, apparently not. Ah, so it's this one. So it's a T6. Oh, T6 and T7, usually for the Yavada. And now, remember, I'm going to use the bottom one. There's no proprietary one to use, but I guess it depends how you fly. You know, it's all preference. Um, I just want to use the bottom. This way I can see it and adjust it easily. And as you can see, this way um, leaves the top open and you don't have the holes. For me, it's more cosmetics. So if you look at it, you see, I'll have holes exposed at the top if I use the top one. And if you want to know if you're upside down or not, remember DJI, the logo. Like if you drop it, it the way I just did, that'll help you. Just follow the logo. So yeah, if you have big hands like me, it's going to be tricky, but it's manageable and doable. Um, and just be careful not to Put your fingers on the, if you do, it's fine. You could always wipe it on the uh, gimbal. Because it'll just have fingerprints all over it. Um, if you use the bottom one, you'll probably have better luck. And then, you know, just squeeze that in there like that. So, it, it, you know, it's not pushing. There, you go. there it is. Voila. Build your own drone. Build a bear or build a drone. Save the spare parts. Um, so you're only going to need, I mean, if you put the screws in there, you won't be able to adjust it. Uh, so, you know, it doesn't work well in that favor. So we'll put these back in. And what you could do to maybe help so that it's not pulling from the top is pull that in a little bit like that. But you don't want it to touch the uh, 
of a propeller guard. He just kind of wanted to have it get caught in there. All right, voila. Now for the moment of truth. We're going to set it up on the computer. So this is great. You're almost there. I mean, you basically built the drone, right? It's quite the accomplishment for, I mean, it's your first drone that you built, you know, whatever you do after that. It, it, it's just too bad. I've seen the um, the guys that actually build these drones, the FP, FPV drones, that um, they don't make these with connectors. You can just plug and play instead of having to solder. I think more people would actually build their drones if they could just plug and clip them in. And I, I was looking online, these boards actually cost um, like 40 bucks or 20 bucks around there. So it's not bad. The replacement is pretty good. Anyway, you made it this far in the video and this is the Easter egg. Um, we're going to be giving away the Drone Valley mic. Uh, remember last year, I got these over a year ago and um, you know, I used them. They, they work pretty good. They're fair. They're a good starter kit if you're going to have your own YouTube channel, right? So what better than to the first 10 comments, because if you've made it this far in the video, that means you've watched basically almost the whole thing. Um, so the first 10 comments, just write um, uh, Drone Valley, uh, whatever, it, what you think of this, uh, and also the video, just where I know you made it this far. And then what I'll do is in the next video, I'm going to take 10 names, right? So the first 10 names will be put into a hat, and whoever comes out first is going to have this, okay? And we'll actually um, do the video of actually it being mailed. So, you know, you'll know, you'll, know, you'll get a tracking and everything. Uh, you'll see me going to the post office. Hopefully I don't get, wind up being one of those guys. Uh, I don't answer questions. You're like, you can't film in the post office, but you'll see. Um, anyway, it's a pretty friendly town, so I'm pretty sure they won't mind. Maybe I'll just wear a camera. Um, yeah, that's right. Maybe I'll just wear the uh, um, Osmo Action or something. Anyway, so that's it. So this is great. So what you want to do is watch the second video if you want to configure the drone so that it works with the receiver and the DJI goggles. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but I walk you through it step by step um, from start to finish. As you can see, you'll be able to fly like this. Well, hopefully not fly like this. Hopefully you'll be able to fly better than this. As you can see, my flying skills do need a little bit of work in the simulator, but you know, that's all on you. One thing I can't give you are flying lessons, but I can guarantee I will help you understand your drone and how it works. Um, so on that note, uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you all next time.